Vice President Joe Biden on the best weapon for defending yourself. One of my arguments against guns is you don't need assault weapons for self-defense. But joining me now are the Gun Girls, two women who say precisely why they need them. Celia Bigelow is Director of Campus Action for American Majority Action. Aubrey Brankenship is the Director of Communications at the Blue Ridge Arsenal in Chantilly, in Virginia. Welcome to you, ladies. Yeah, thank, thank you for having us on. Explain to me why you believe you need an AR-15 style assault rifle. Well, I personally bought one for self-defense. One, they're lightweight, they're quite accurate. I can shoot them much accurate, more accurately than a handgun or a shotgun. And three, these, I'm gonna pull a David Gregory right here and I can hold up my 30 um, round magazine right here because it's actually legal in Virginia. But um, I, I want a gun that can hold a lot of ammo because if I'm faced with an intruder or multiple intruders that come into my home, I want to make sure I have enough ammo to get the job done, especially if they're armed. So I want to have, they essentially serve as an insurance mechanism to make sure that I have enough rounds that if multiple intruders come in and they're armed, I don't have to take the time to reload. And um, we, uh, in, as young women wanting to defend ourselves, we want the capacity to have um, more bullets than um, your average handgun would have. And mm. so we've decided that this is something that we, in um, defending our and exercising our Second Amendment rights, um, as well as um, the... And, um, let's, and let's bring up a situation here. Uh, we saw a situation in Georgia just a couple weeks ago where a mom was hiding in her attic with her two children when an intruder entered her home. Yeah. She had a handgun that only had six rounds in it. She fired all six rounds, missed the intruder once, hit him five <laughs> times in the face and in the neck, and he still lived. What if there had been how another many, intruder how many of behind the three, him? How many of the three million Americans that own AR-15s have ever used them to defend themselves? at home. And that's, that's there not was, a question there. there. And there, is, there are far many examples, but are the media willing do, to do cover you know, them? Well, do you know, do you know example, one? There, do you know there one? Was, for example, yes, absolutely. In 2010, in Houston, Texas, there was a 15-year-old boy alone at home, and he was def he was home alone with his 12-year-old sister when two intruders tried to enter in, in the front door and in the back door of his house. He grabbed his AR-15 and shot at them, and they ran away. A 15-year-old at home with his 12-year-old sister when burglars try to break in. That's when investigators say the boy grabbed his dad's assault rifle and started shooting. And he hit one of the men repeatedly. This all unfolded this afternoon in the 2600 block of Royal Place Court. 11 News reporter Sherman Min Chow talked with neighbors and investigators. Anxious family and friends cross the yellow tape into a surreal crime scene. A 15-year-old boy and his 12-year-old sister had been home alone in the Mount Royal Village subdivision. And then about 2.30, a pair of home invaders tried the front and back doors, then broke a back window. A young boy was protecting his sister. You know, he was in fear for his life and, and for his sister's life. The brother grabbed his father's assault rifle and knew what to do with it. His dad is a Precinct 1 deputy constable. We don't try to hide things from our children in law enforcement. The children were not hurt. The home invaders fled, leaving a trail of blood. Two suspects showed up at Tomball Hospital. One, the adult, had multiple gunshot wounds and was flown to Memorial Hermann Hospital. The second, a juvenile, was taken back here. Detectives walked the suspect through the crime scene. Meantime, neighbors say burglars had recently struck the two houses next door, which included the deputy's home. They stole everything, what they have inside. They really did it one time. And this may be the last time, at least for these suspects. In Northwest Harris County, Sherman Chow, 11 News.